Hello everybody, it's Rhino. I am here at Disney Springs today because you can see behind me, the vault collection has been released. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna check this out. I also believe there is some more, yeah, that's right, even more 50th anniversary merchandise that's been released as well. Um, so we're gonna check out whatever I can find today to check out. So come along with me let's go shopping before i go in here i want to remind everybody that this and everything that we do here is brought to you by dreams unlimited travel experts in helping you plan the perfect disney vacation and you a book with them it costs you nothing extra on your trip and you help support the show so we appreciate you very much dreams unlimited travel.com I, I feel a little frazzled because i basically like jogged here from the studio but um yeah so i am at the co-op at disney springs and uh i'm gonna start here and then i'll go into world of disney to see some more but yeah there's literally a display right here look at these little mickey mouse that's cute so cute so let's go in see what we find see how much it is chat about it the usual okay here we go into the co-op first of all look at this i love the orange bird i love I love that we got a little statue of him, a little photo opportunity that's the 50th. See, this is what I want from the 50th, stuff like this. Things like this. And look over here. Look at this T. I love the classic retro TV display. Walt Disney World Vault Collection Preview Center. So let's see what it, what does it say? At first glimpse of the magic, the Walt Disney World Preview Center gave a first look at the $300, $300 million Vacation Kingdom under construction in Central Florida when it opened in 1970, just steps away from Blake when it is done. Okay, this is like three paragraphs. I'm not gonna read that. So we're just gonna go in because you know what? We're here to look at merchandise and girl, there is way more of it than I thought there was gonna be. I'm out of already. Okay, all right. Let's talk about this super cute lunchbox. Oh my goodness, okay. But like, how much are you? $25, okay, honestly, I thought this was going to be more than that, so that's really not that bad, but I don't want to grab out of, out of the middle of displays and stuff, but I saw this in the window here. It's cute. $14.99. Okay, prices already aren't terrible. Look at these uh, pin. Magic Kingdom with the Contemporary and a, I don't know, yellow pricing. These, so... I mean, I get it. I feel like these are a relic of the past, which is also cool that they're here, but like, they feel like hot plates, right? Spoons and stuff. I don't know. 30 bucks. 30 bucks. I don't know if I just missed it. There was a country bears on the back of this. Oh my gosh, I didn't flip it around. Look at that. Craig's got to get this lunchbox, right? That is so cute. There's never enough country bear stuff. Look at this space, what they've done with this. This used to be like the five and dime area. You've got the little uh, photo spot here. Another one in the classic Mr. Toad uh, vehicle, which is nice, but oh, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you think this is cute, this shirt is actually like not great quality. $40, $39.99. Nah, not soft enough. Not soft enough for me. Let's go over here. Look at these jewels. I don't know how authentic this is because I feel like the photos I've seen of like the characters on opening is nightmares and this isn't like a complete nightmare. It's kind of cute, but 50 bucks. Less than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. I feel like I saw this shirt maybe in like a Disney Parks blog post or something like that, but you know I love a good ringer G. $36.99. It's soft. It's nice. Check it out. These are like hard plastic ears. $24.99. They're like hair barrette ears. Interesting. 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 I like this Mickey visor. It's so absurd, but so like charming at the same time. This is $24.99. And then there's like a denim hat too. That is $27.99. I'm, so far for like the vault collection, this isn't super expensive. I thought they definitely could have upcharged a lot more, but $36.99 for the Mickey Ringer tee. Let's go around here. We got this sweatshirt. It's actually pretty thin, which is nice. 
I don't mind it, to be honest with you. It's, but what's interesting about it is it's like, look at the seams. It's not, it's like it's, it's like a white sweatshirt, a white sweatshirt painted gray, right? It's like, it's not the usual heathered sweatshirt. 50 bucks. Interesting. And then you've got your just like classic plain tees. These are $36.99. They are soft at least. More of the most magical construction on earth. I do really appreciate that they have all this sort of stuff here. Display. And then there was a lounge fly. I don't, I don't know that I, like this locks in and hooks onto the bag here, but I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't get it. $95. Because you get like two bags in one. All right, let's pop over and look at this stuff. Oh, the bucket hat people are going to be thrilled. This isn't even like a bucket hat. It's like a dome. Cute. 20 bucks. Well, I don't know if it's cute. I wouldn't wear it, but... Twelve ninety nine for the classic back scratcher. I don't know about you guys, but this was always my, like, souvenir for some reason when I was a kid. And this is cool. The 2022 calendar... So this is whoop, 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 twenty-five dollars. Here are all the calendars. Honestly, these two. I like these two. The rest are kind of, honestly, kind of plain. Not really. Not really blown away by this one. Oh, two, two pegs. It's a two peg job. But, of course, they've got your classic ears over here. I don't really think these are part of the anniversary. I think these are just here. So those are 20 bucks. Um, but here's your magic band. So, well, that is $40. Good God in heaven. $40. Some buttons. $14.99. And then... The four keychain. If one keychain's not enough and you've got four spare keys, this is the pack for you. Or souvenirs for everybody. 20 bucks, five dollars a a keychain. Honestly, five bucks for one keychain, that's really not that bad. I'm actually surprised. This is kind of cool though. The folded map. So I think this is like an opening day map. It's only eight bucks. Uh, I don't see it on display anywhere. But that is kind of cool. I don't know. Do I need this? It's $8. It's really not that bad at all. I think that'd be fun. I do appreciate that there's, like, Mr. Toad's merchandise here, though, because... Ooh, ooh, soft. Ooh, and a ringer tea. Soft and ringer tea. $36.99. This one might be the... the good one. We miss you, Mr. Toad. What is this, Pop Rocks? What is this, Drugs? This does not have a price on it. But look, you can get iridescent rocks to eat. Interesting. This is, this like, thing is kind of interesting because they're all the tickets for the attractions like on string, but... And then here's a Small World shirt. What do we want to bet? $36.99? That's what I bet. That's what I win. $36.99. All right, so we got more of this pin. And then here's this... It's like... I feel like this is what the folded map look like, but... $7.99. It feels like... It's like laminated cardboard i don't really know what this is i thought maybe this was like uh tr you know the things you put onto the plate at dinner on the table but that is definitely not what it is but it's really honestly not that bad kind of affordable this is interesting 14.99 the little bell i believe it comes in this box for 14.99 and in this box this is something my grandparents would have on their shelf Metal plate, a classic, twenty four ninety nine. 
feel like my mom and my grandparents would love this entire collection because like this is that like tin plate i have one of these for eatable railroad my grandfather used to work and then look you've got your own little like the only teeny tiny little candy dish this giant pin 34.99 tiny pin that opens maybe maybe oh castle oh that is hold on it actually 17.99 and what is this like a fan that's yellow so the tiny plate is in this box not the not the bell not the bell tiny plate and then you've got little teeny tiny salt and pepper shakers i don't want to grab at them because i've already knocked one thing over and i am embarrassed let's see 20 bucks spoon and the thimble honestly i it's crazy but anytime i see spoons anywhere as a souvenir i buy one for my sister i don't know why i started doing it when i was a little kid and I have not stopped because it's been so many years now. So this is 20 bucks. I don't know. Usually spoons are like $8. And I'm like, it's a good solid souvenir for my sister. It's like the one thing I get her everywhere I go. Of course, if you don't want to get the actual, you can get the tiny one. Well, it's the same price. So might as well just get the spoon at that rate. Another one of those pins that open. Oh, Tinkerbell. Signature. Boom. So what's kind of cool is over here, I thought these were like all pins and stickers. They're not stickers. They're patches and pins that come together. So it's 20 bucks, but you get this nice pin and that, that pin or patch and pin. Those are cool. Ooh, a little sticker. Stickers five bucks, which is actually not terrible. Remember when stickers were like $15 a second ago? And I was like, no, get out of here. Yeah. So they're all like classic, which is cute. Okay, so technically I think that's all for the vault collection, but there is some other stuff over here. Like I just saw them putting these out, which are the Starbucks mugs. Craig had talked about these on the Tuesday show. Magic Kingdom one is cool. I like how it's both like new and like that's the classic Mickey country wear, but then it's like, here's the future, Tron. Clearly Tron was supposed to open at this time. So it's like both like past, present and future. Cause they like Remy's on here. And then Hollywood Studios has Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Million Falcons on there, and then is this Animal Kingdom as well? I don't know why, but Mickey looks exceedingly Irish on here. Oh my god, I'm on this mug. I'm on this mug. <gasps> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I just make it up? Oh, boom! My favorite attraction! Good look at these. There's like little pins to match and everything. Starbucks was going all out this time. $34.99, and then of course, if you don't want the mug, you can get the little ornaments. Look at these little babies. These are all $14.99. Okay, so that was the vault collection, but here's a little thing I did. Uh, when I was walking in over here, I stopped in World of Disney just to make sure this wasn't over there too. And I don't know if it is over there or not, but I will say at World of Disney, there was some new 50th merch. So we're gonna pop in and take a look at some of the stuff that was released since I last did my video. So we're not done yet, but this is what I saw for the vault collection at the co-op. So now we're moving over to World of Disney. Let's go take a look. All right, so right away when I pop in, boom, two new shirts. Well, at least one new shirt. I hadn't seen this before. And also remember how I said it was surprising that there were no mugs at all? Well, guess what? There's a mug. And I found the rest of those ornaments. So this is that display that was other stuff before. And now it's this like pearl. It's a big coffee mug. $22.99. And then, uh, of course, there is... I saw this on the way out, I think. This is the 50th ornament. And that is $29.99. And... 
let's take a look because I swear I saw something else. I saw this journal over here. Yeah, there was a bunch of stuff. So look, diamonds, diamonds, $22.99. Here's that shirt. Really very, very soft, oh, very thin. Not like the drape image, it's just like the thinnest cotton that you could get. Anyway, clearly it gets very wrinkled very easily. But this is $60. Oh my gosh, 60 bucks. Photo albums for all the memories you're gonna make when you come here, $24.99. There's this, I don't think I saw this zip hoodie. Which is, you know, it's got the interior, has that print on it. It's got Walt Disney World down the sleeve. Kind of iridescent. Full strings there. That's $65. And here is the 50th anniversary Big Mac. I know. $24.99. Check it out. I'd like to see one of these on the side of I-4. I doubt I will. I don't know who was wanting that either, but there it is. Ooh, another photo album. Boom, $34.99. So the important thing to know is there's plenty of Crocs left still a week later. So there's people who bought them in bulk. Oh, also, guess who's here? Mickey came back in stock too. 30 bucks. It looks pretty snazzy. Cute. Pretty cute, actually. Plenty of Mickey and Minnie because I see them on that back wall over there where it says Huggable as well. I should be under this wall, shouldn't I? And then uh, plenty of that yellow sweatshirt where I still kind of really want, but I don't say it out loud. But I have repeatedly because I do actually really want it. So I think there's like one more button down back here that I don't know if I saw this or not. I can't remember. So let me just walk up here. I don't remember if I saw this. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. $65. I feel like I didn't. I would remember how crazy expensive that is for a shirt that's basically just a walking advertisement. I don't think we saw these ears. Like a pleather material. These ones are $40. I think the light up ones were less than that, but also one more thing over here. Which is so crazy and weird because I thought these were outdated already. Because, like, these, the Park Pals, where he, like, is, I believe, for, like, hugging an antenna or something. But you're, like, oh, uh, well, I guess he hugs his own little, see his own little display there. So that is eleven ninety nine. Snow globes. Oh. I was, like, if these aren't Mickey heads, they are. So that is $16.99. I don't think we saw this photo frame last time either. Ooh, this is like heavy metal. Not heavy metal, like $34.99. For a four by six photo frame, no thank you. There's a big tote bag, $40. It's like 3D right here. Ooh, it's already dirty on the back. That is not a good sign. $34.99. A sketchbook. So you can charcoal, sketch, whatever your favorite memories from the trip. $24.99. I almost missed this. There's a 50th anniversary press penny book over here. This one doesn't have a price. So I have no idea. Oh, you were looking at it because I picked up $14.99. And then are these the regular press pennies, the 50th anniversary? I don't know. Probably just regular. And there you have it. So that is both the vault collection and some new stuff that I saw from the 50th anniversary stuff. So I know it was just a quick, quick video of just kind of running around frantically looking at stuff, but Honestly, there's some cute things. I hope they like keep with it. I hope that that vault collection wasn't like that was it. I hope that we get more of that along the way throughout the celebration. Because remember, this most magical celebration is 18 months long. So if just because you're not here on October 1st, I don't think you should feel any less about being here on October 1st, 2022 than you do 
on 2021 because when you're here on October 1st in 2022, you still have six more months left of that celebration. So you're like only like two thirds of the way through. So, um, but yeah, there you have it. You'll have to let me know if there's any other spots that you've heard of merchandise. I'll have to go check those out. You know, I love a good window shopping video. Didn't get anything today, but uh, just some things to think about, I guess. I hope everybody's doing well. If you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And again, remember, Dreams Unlimited Travel costs you nothing extra to book. You help support the channel, so check them out. And I think that's it. I am gonna go because there's just so many things going on right now. It's like running from one place to another. It's insanity. And so uh, the 50th is upon us. I hope it goes smoothly for everybody who's coming to visit and I hope to see you here. So if you see me, say hello, cause I would love to just stop and chat and uh, not lose my mind for a little bit. So I hope, uh, I hope you're just all doing great. And I'll see you later. Bye everybody.